Good morning. It's a <clears throat> it's a fine frosty morning here at the new house. Hey guys, just wanted to uh, check in on a fine Saturday morning. Just finished my hearty bacon and eggs. Normally I like to start off the day fasted, but I got a lot of work to do today. So anyway, you guys may have uh, watched my recent live video from the home studio promoting the GoFundMe for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to start right off with that. It's not about me. It's about helping other people. So if you saw that, uh, you can go to thanksgivingonthestreets.com, and that takes you directly to the GoFundMe page, or go to my Fuel Foundations charity site, fuelfoundations.org. There is a page there specifically for the Street Corner Gourmets. And again, because I'm fancy like that, you can also just go to thestreetcornergourmets.com, or streetcornergourmets.com. That takes you directly to that landing page on the charity site. Anyway, uh, the point is is that <clears throat> we are returning to the streets of Harlem, New York City, and trying to create hot meals to the streets. That being said, I was doing it for the past 11 years. Uh, they've been doing it for 50 plus years, and our founder, Sister Mary Lanning, passed away. You can watch uh, yesterday's video for that. Anyway, uh, please consider giving back. Uh, we are trying to fund at least 500 meals to the streets this year, plus uh, bottles of water, plus uh, meal packaging kits because we can't work in a commercial kitchen um, last year or this year because of you know the vid and everything else. Anyway, so we're going to pre-make the meals, get them to the streets, still serve them on the streets. Only 500 this year because our, our fearless founder had passed away and uh, her charity and organization is in flux, uh, Yes Solutions. So my charity and her amazing family are teaming up to pull it all back together and make it happen. Uh, that being said, any additional funds raised we don't use in the food, we're buying uh, gift cards to Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, stuff like that, that are all around the uh, Harlem, New York City region, so people can go get hot beverages, snacks, etc. Uh, during these cold holidays. Trust me, I have worked the kitchens. I have uh, been up there on mornings like this. Like I have fog coming out of my breath. <clears throat> I think it hit a low of 28 early this morning, and it's only November. So uh, I, I hear you go. I still have frost everything is frosty on the, on the slope of my backyard here. So uh, the yard is half unfrosty and half melted because the sun's rising. Uh, actually, real quick, say hi to Calvin back here. There he is. I got him tucked in. Right, buddy? You don't care. Calvin doesn't care. Uh, Calvin had a rough go the past couple weeks. Part of this post is just to catch people up on things. So our Calvin the Coonhound is... 13 years of age, uh, has been through a lot. We Actually, this Thanksgiving, um, it'll be three years that he beat cancer. We had turned him into a tripod and uh, had to help him su uh, survive. So he's been awesome, but the past two weeks he's had a pretty rough go. We had him on um, all kinds of stuff. I think we had him on antibiotics at first and for a swelling, and then uh, the doctor wife and her doctor friends uh, put them on Took him off of that, put him on steroids, then he was peeing and pooing everywhere in the new house. So not happy about that, but we cleaned it all up. Uh, other updates, let's see, on, on the new house, cost of life goals. Uh, construction, I, I, I demoed half of the old deck. Eventually all the deck is going to go away because I don't like it. And, you know, we just got this house in May. So form is ready for inspection with the township next week for hot tub. Um Actually, and since uh, uh, here's a little tip, if you ever need to pour concrete, figure out what you want to do and do it all at the same time. So I also can't stand the fact that when people come up the driveway up the mountain here where we're at now, um, I don't like this shed. <laughs> so so I, my driveway back here behind me, you come up that driveway back there, you come up the hill and you see the awesome house and these cool big windows that I love. But then the next thing you see is the shed. So I said, forget that. So in the spring, that's being torn down. And my man's own barn that the prior owner just built four years ago, you may have seen some of the workouts posted in there. Uh, so anyway, right there is the other concrete form that we have just finished. So uh, once those are inspected, we're pouring concrete. In the spring, this old bad boy gets torn down and I build a new one down there. And there's home goals. Um, other projects for today. This house has two fireplaces, which I absolutely love. I've been busy, so I'm like a homesteader. There you go. I got I got wood for days, 
and that's the rest of the wood. I'm hopefully gonna finish all that today. Um, so we got, so we got, uh, see, Calvin, Calvin's back to his normal crazy self. We're running a social media campaign to the GoFundMe for Thanksgiving. Uh, the man zone is still awesome. The gym is great. Concrete forms for new shed, hot tub. It's frosty chilling. Um, rocking my old hot shots jacket. Carhartt for life. This thing is from 2010. So when I served as a hot shot out West, so as a reminder, besides me doing the GoFundMe, um, if you are willing to share, hopefully a inspiring leadership themed book, my new book has been out for a few months on Amazon. So you want to be a hotshot? That's also a charitable project. I have plenty other ways to make money in life, and uh, I'm trying to give back. So please share that book. So you want to be a hotshot on Amazon? So you got two ways to give this year. Um, help me get my book out there. You know, help other people, inspire other people, share the story of uh, my own transformation from serving as a firefighter and learning a lot, and then. Um, Give them back on GoFundMe for Thanksgiving. We are taking the taking it to the streets like we've done in the past. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. Life is good. Uh, I have a lot of projects to complete. So anyway, oh, and, and the insurance claim is almost done. So again, after we bought this house, <laughs> uh, the ceiling collapsed because some douche does not know how to install HVAC systems, which is, by the way, like... 60, 70% of my industry impacting income comes from that world. So I think it's funny that my new house gets screwed by that. So uh, we're just waiting on the painters to return. And all the ceiling and walls put back together. A little bit of painting to finish up. Uh, last little fun joke, if you're still watching this. Woke up this morning, was checking out the nice new molding that my boy Eric Moberly put in from uh, Valley to Mountain Home Improvements. And uh, I find a hole where the molding meets the sheetrock. And I mean, I'm going to go and say it. Fucking mouse chewed through. Really? Really? <laughs> so $15,000 insurance claim and you got to chew through my new stuff. Anyway, uh, so that's my next project this afternoon. I'm going to finish splitting wood, taking care of Calvin while the wifey is on emergency calls, saving horses' lives. Uh, and then I'll be uh, setting up some ways to... Uh, remove this mouse problem, and then obviously fix what was just paid to be redone. So, <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have productive weekends ahead. Um, I've got Calvin Love, uh, hot tub shed construction, fitting in workouts when I can, uh, helping others with the GoFundMe, uh, helping uh, others over the long haul for the Hot Shot book, you know, giving back to the firefighting communities with that. Splitting wood to stay warm this winter so I can burn my badass fireplaces. Uh, yeah, busy. So for those of you out there who are also busy, just keep making time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. Uh, it's just a matter how you manage it. So granted, my wife and I decided not to have kids for a reason so I could do all this stuff. Oh, and by the way, I'm still doing podcasting, running a marketing company besides a charity and helping grow other companies like like my girl, Jen, Sales Management Solutions, crushing it on the sales uh, industry, impacting the HVAC industry. So, yeah, there's always lots going on. So, all right, guys. Well, Calvin is a smart pup. I'm going to close this video out with that. So I'm going to flip this around. And there he is. This is an intelligent animal. What does he want to do? He wants to go outside every day. Backyard. Sun rises right there. And this is what he does. When he's not riding with his mom, he just suns himself. Right, buddy? You literally don't care. I love it. He's old. He's over 13 years old. He's got three legs. He's beaten cancer. And uh, he's just chilling. All right, guys. Have a great day.